All right. I've, uh, <coughs> I've got my uh, pieces cut for my cabinet face. And I got my Craig jig out here. So I'm going to uh, hopefully show you how hopefully show you how it's done as you can see that um, if you don't own a Craig jig uh, I suggest you get one if you're building anything I mean this thing just it just makes life so much easier especially when you're uh, trying to build some, some cabinets. Um, um, you know, it just, uh, it just makes joining the wood together just so much easier. A couple of screws and some glue and you're done. Not a whole lot to say during this. It's just, just lining it up. You know, I've marked the sides of the wood that I want to to use. Um, I just tried to pick the uh, just tried to pick the best side. Of course, it's all going to get sanded and stained anyway. But, uh, okay. So, that's basically what it does. Okay. Gives you a nice hole. They come out the other end. I mean, it's just a pretty awesome thing. And then you, uh, you should take them in, glue up your uh, your rails, and uh, and that's it. So let me go inside, get set up, and I'll be back. Okay. Show you how easy this is to uh, use this Craig jig. I've already put some glue on and uh, just making sure my my boards are flush. I'm using my uh, my kitchen counter um, wall uh, cabinet just as a straight edge and, uh, and you just drive these boogers on home. Okay. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my center style. Just gotta measure over 16 in the center and uh, put a mark. I don't know where my center is. Okay, here it is. Um, let me move it off. Okay, that's my that's my cabinet face. That'll be on this wall. Okay, it's kind of hard to see with the. Let me see if I can't move it there. So, 
There's my cabinet face. And I'm gonna start building the box around it and to the back. Um, it's gonna be 12 inches deep. So let me go ahead and cut those pieces and I'll show you how I join those. I'll be back. All right, me and Patriot are cutting up some pieces. I've got my, uh, my cabinet face and I'm starting to build the cabinet or back and sides. I'm cutting my pieces now. I've got my Craig jig. And uh, this one is getting a, I don't know if you can read that or not, A, B, and C. So I'll be doing the A and C on this one. Okay. So that's pretty nice. So you see how you just set it in there? <clears throat> Put your tension on there. And then you just simply run it down through the hole. You see that or not? And you release the tension. I like to blow out all the sawdust because I don't know this seems like the right thing to do okay let's try this again so I'm doing holes Put these two on and those and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I've got my glue on there. A little more on. Now keep in mind, I'm not a cabinet maker, so. And I've built cabinets. You know, like gun cabinets and stuff like that, but. Okay. And you can't see it from where you're at, but the, the glue is coming up through the, uh, the Craig jig holes, which I like. Because then the screw will get a little glue on it going down in the hole. Okay. Do. So you can 
can see I've got two sides of it done. I can do that corner and then I'll spin it around and do the other corner. Um, I've determined that the <clears throat> top of the cabinet is right, is gonna be up there, okay? So let me do this one right here and then I'll flip around and I'll be able to do that side also. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm getting ready to install these on here. Patriot, get up here. Come here, bud. Patriot, come say hi. You stay up in that road. All right, so these will go on. As you can see, I've already got my, my holes from the Craig jig right there. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that side over there see if i can't get this thing in the right there we go perfect okay right. i'm gonna go ahead and put a little glue on there a little glue on here smear it around and crannies filled. Smear this one around. That's the whole thing. Wipe the excess on my shorts. <laughs> then I put a little, a little extra on there. Just because what I try to do is get the whole area. Put a little bit more in the middle there. A little bit of it ooze out. We'll sand it when we're, when we're all done, so won't be a big deal. All right. Stick that on there. I like to give it a little back and forth. Um, I'm gonna use my bar clamps. I mean, these aren't necessary only because, you know, it's just two screws, but when you're by yourself, it's, it's nice to have, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tighten them all the way, <coughs> just enough to, uh, to sort of kind of hold it, and then I'm going to adjust, adjust the, uh, can move the wood around a little bit. There, that's the excess on there.
do have a shorter one of these. I gotta go find it. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to get a had to get a smaller bit. So I was hitting that right there. You probably can't tell from the video, but uh, just I use this to keep the uh, just to keep the wood from splitting. Not that it would, but it doesn't cost anything to extra to do that. So. See what I was doing. Just working on working on that side right now.
turn this thing. Okay, I should be able to see what I'm doing. All right, it's just like before. Put our glue on. Like the excess on your pants so your wife kills you she's doing the laundry I just put a little bit more on just for good measure <coughs> your wood typically will split before the glue joint does so just put this on there just move it back and forth a little bit Get it lined up as best you can. And grab our clamps. And remember, I'm just, I'm just snugging them. I'm not tightening them yet. Keep in mind, I'm not a cabinet maker, but I know how to use a tape measure and I know how to cut wood. So, that being said, if you know how to use a tape measure, then you should be able to make a cabinet. I'm just putting that clamp on there just to keep it from splitting the wood. And again, I'm not sure that it would, but it's free and it's an insurance that I can afford. Okay. Nothing like getting to this point and then having a your wood split on you, boy. That would just that would irk the shit out of anybody. So, by putting that there, it's not, I don't know, well, I can't say that it's not possible for the wood not to, but.
right. And there you have it. Good. All right, I went and got my hat. It's cold out here. Okay. And there you have it. There's my sides. My sides are done. Now I'm going to do a piece across there, give it some stability, and I'll do one, I'll do one where each of my shelves will sit down. So not only will this be attached to the, to the, uh, to the roof of the uh, uh, RV, uh, but it'll also be attached to the wall and I happen to have two studs right behind here so The reason I'm gluing and screwing this is because instead of shooting it with uh, You know nails is um, A lot of bouncing around um, And I think the way I've designed it so that the weight is being carried here and here but then this piece which runs all the way through catches this and carries the load down screwed here and screwed at the bottom and of course same thing with the with the back so let me cut some more wood and i'll be back okay i've cut these i've got my <coughs> holes drilled and that's the bottom I've got another one I've got another one for the top back as you can see alright go ahead and put put those in and I'll be right back okay and that's the top of my cabinet. So what I've done here is, is I've cut, I've got cut pieces in here to, uh, to hold the shelf. Okay. So, and I've recessed it down in because what I want is I'm going to use a piece of, uh, you know, half inch in here. And I just, on the, Let's see on the front side here's the front which it'll be all the way around but I wanted to leave a little bit of a a little bit of a lip here you know so things don't roll out of the cabinet okay it'll make more sense when I get it done but uh I don't know if I can stand back far enough but there's my cabinet I've got my pieces cut up there because I got to do the same thing at the top because I'm going to put a uh I'm gonna put a, uh, a piece of plywood, just a piece of luon across the top, um, so you don't see the ceiling and stuff like that. So, all right, let me, let me test these. Now, these I'm not gonna screw. <clears throat> I'm just gonna glue and shoot them in with, uh, you know, with some uh, some brad nails. So I'll be back. Okay. I've just got it dry fitted up there right now just to uh, kind of see what it's all about. Um, there it is. And like I said, there'll be, there'll be a shelf here and a shelf there on the inside. And uh, I'll put a... Uh, 
made it so I could put a panel at the top. <coughs> Cover that up. And it'll be a shelf, of course, across the bottom. And then there's going to be under counter lights are going to be mounted. So I got to run wires through it. <coughs> and then once that one's hung and plumb and square, then I will uh, see if I can step back a little bit. Let me turn this around. Okay, once that cabinet is hung and plumb, then uh, then I'll be building a cabinet across the top of the sink. Okay, and that should have you know at least two or three shelves in it. Okay. And then there'll be another cabinet right next to this one that I just built. Okay, that'll be above that window. Okay, so that'll be a nice big cabinet. So, all right, let me, uh, I'm gonna let this dry tonight real good. And then tomorrow I'm gonna sand it. I'm not gonna sand it today. Let that glue set up real good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it down on the, uh, on the granite there so it's nice and straight. And, and let it dry. Right. Okay, I've got my tongue and groove in the bottom. Let's see if I can do this without it falling out. And what this will do is when you look at it from the bottom, you'll see our tongue and groove. Okay. <clears throat> and then on top of this, there's a piece of glue on. So I'm gonna glue these down and then I'm going to some clamps on and life will be good so let me do that and I've cut my top panel I'll show you that when I'm done all right I'll be back Okay, and that's what the bottom of the cabinet looks like. So I wanted to uh, just show you that.
careful. those clamps on there I just stuck them on there just to make me feel better Patriot come here buddy come here Come here. Come here. Nice. That one goes there. <coughs> like a glove. Patrick, come here, buddy. You're still over here. Patrick, come. Come here. Let me take this out of here. I'll wait for that to set up a little bit. I thought about screwing this top on, but once it's up there, I'm not going to ever need to get above that, above this cabinet. I, uh, I can always ax list whatever I need, but there's nothing up there. There's nothing up there that, that I need to get to. So, I'm not. Plus, this will... This will make the box a lot stronger. My glue's getting cold. It's, well, it's not getting cold. It is cold. <laughs> A silicone around the edge of that so that you know any dust or whatever that might get up in the attic or whatever will stay in the attic although it's a pretty good pretty good seal I'm not too 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 concerned but hey it's free so might as well Oh. I didn't need to put 
got these clamps on, but I did anyway. Come here, Patriot. Patriot, now. Come here. Come here. Patriot, come. Stuck it down in there before I put my glue. down Ooh, it's cold. Once I got it all glued up, I'll, I'll take it back in the house. Back in the trailer. Okay. I want to shoot some. I want to shoot some brads into it first before I clamp it down. So much easier to do it from the top down. Now we 
can turn out, but. Sure looks nice. I think I feel raindrops, but I don't know. Now this clamping will keep those adhere that plywood, hopefully to that tongue and groove. I swear I feel rained up. I think I better hurry up and get this stuff cleaned up. I want to keep that that lou on. spot I don't have one.
Okay. All right. Tongue and groove on the bottom. Of course, there'll be, there'll be some lights there. It's not gonna be anything in there so super heavy that, but that's a full half inch thick now. And once that, once that Luan, once that Luan catches um, and glues up, it's gonna be perfect. All right, so there you go. Got the top end. It's all good to go. So, all right, let me carry this inside before it starts raining. I'll talk to you soon. I'll show you when it's clean. I gotta clean up. Okay, let's wrap this one up for today. That cabinet is built. It needs to be sanded and stained. We'll do that tomorrow. Um, and then I'll make the shelves for it when uh, there's two shelves that go in the middle. I'll do those when I get it up on the wall because I want to get some nice, either some three quarter or some nice strong half inch. Uh, just depends on what I can find. And uh, I'll knock those two out. Um, they'll be 11 and a quarter because they're going to go from the front there all the way to the wall. Um, Everything else is pretty much, pretty much cleaned up and ready to go. I will uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here's my buddy. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. I hope you guys understand why I did this clamps. Just so it, I want that glue and the, uh, the plywood and the tongue and groove to, to glue together. So. Plus, with the brad nails, they should be fine. By tomorrow, it should be good and uh, should be good and dry, good and solid. It's it's pretty solid now. Um, oh, and the other thing about the shelves, uh, I want to get with Mama and see, you know, like how high does she want them? Does she want one small and the rest, you know? A little taller you know plates you know coffee cups you know you can get away with like seven or eight inches no reason to go the whole you know whole 12 inches so well, once we get it on the wall we'll kick it around we'll put some stuff in there but uh all right i'm gonna leave it open and the lights on till some mama comes in and sees that and patriot of course is uh working diligently on his uh and his uh, coconuts. This one here, let me show you. Um, he literally got inside there and ate the coconut. <laughs> there you go. He he definitely loves his coconut. Um, towards the end of the day, I actually moved uh my work table because i was sort of kind of standing underneath the coconuts and i didn't want one falling on my head that would have sucked so all right everything's closed up and i was on her way home so come on buddy let's go inside Whew. okay all right. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll talk to you uh, tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it. If not, um, okay. Um, subscribe to the channel. And visit GinaVince.com for all the videos. All right. Talk to you later. Say bye, Patriot. Bye-bye.